the idea of this is that one anaplastic ca thyroid cancer is a uh, very large unmet need with survival for a lot of patients being less than six months. Um, the study is uh, trying to add um, a drug called bisapinib in addition to paclitaxel radiation therapy, which would be considered like a reasonable standard of care, although there's no true standard of care in anaplastic thyroid cancer. Um, Pazapinib uh, is a drug, it's a tarsine kinase inhibitor, it hits multiple different um, agents or different uh, uh, targets. And in a phase two study um, done by Keith Bible in the Mayo Clinic, they actually had very good responses in differentiated thyroid cancer. In anaplastic thyroid cancer, the responses weren't as great, although they initially had some good responses. And it's felt that, if, especially if you add it with a taxing, that it may actually lead to a, a much more significant um, benefit, which Keith um, showed in uh, uh, in a manuscript already, at least preclinically. So this study is looking at the combination of all three drugs in patients with either locally advanced anaplastic thyroid cancer, or um, even diseases already metastatic to elsewhere, with the idea that if you get good control in the neck, you may actually be able to lead to long-term um, benefit for patients, since this is where most of the problems occur. Um, because the three drugs haven't been used, or sorry, the two drugs and um, and radiation have not been used together, there's a run-in period, which we've actually had two and about to have a third run-in period for. And this is uh, to look at toxicity and make sure that this is something that people can uh, can tolerate. And each time we've had to make a small different adjustments, um, one going from um, bisapinib pills, which is what's out there, to a bisapinib slurry. Um, another one after the bisapinib slurry is trying to get exactly the right dose uh, with it. Once the third run in is done, we expect to go forward with a randomized phase two study, which would be 88 patients, where people would be randomized to either receive paclitaxel and radiation or paclitaxel, radiation, and pizapinib. Um With actually, even though it's a randomized phase two, overall survival is the uh, primary outcome.